was born in 1940 in this very small uh, town. When I was six, I started taking trumpet lessons. So I obviously uh, had a gift. And uh, so, so I had a wonderful uh, childhood of, of music. But the next step was uh, uh, going from uh, the, our, what we call high school. And I hadn't really progressed very far. And when I went to uh, university, I decided to study composition. I had heard uh, jazz music that had moved me the most and the interplay and how it was put together was from hearing uh, the first Bill Evans trio records. I was absorbing even the, ba the way the bass was played with. In the last year of music school, I heard someone playing a classical guitar and I said, I really need to learn this. Now, here I was 22 years old. I asked the professors in the music school, who's a good classical guitar teacher? And they said, oh, this great band in piano. So I stopped playing the piano for the entire first year that I studied the guitar. And I practiced something like eight, seven to eight hours a day for seven days a week. I went back to the United States, but while I was on this boat, I heard a radio playing, and I heard Brazilian music, and I really just right away I understood how that was put together, and and immediately started uh, when I got home. I met, I was introduced to Manfred, or we were introduced uh, to each other for, by Dave Holland, who I was playing some concerts with at the time, and so Dave wanted to introduce me to Manfred Eicher, who had just started this small record company. There were just two or three records released at that point. It was this young man dressed in dark clothes, and uh, we had a very similar background, coming from very small towns, very old parents, and both very studious, I guess, too. But we became friends almost immediately. The whole concept of, of the ECM label was do the records very quickly in two days, Basically, uh, the music that was played was practically live, and uh, Manfred would, would come all the way from Munich. So we started recording a lot of recordings in, in Oslo, my first things there with Manfred, but uh, using musicians. And the way he put together combinations of people to play uh, and record it. So I started doing a lot of souls, but then I would put together bands. And one band I put together that won a lot of prizes was for a record called Solstice. This had a great bass player, Eberhard Weber, Garbrecht, and, and Jan Christensen, a great drummer. So I wrote the music for this recording that, that really, really was an advantage for showing how the, the best qualities of, of the individual musicians. I continued to record all these years with, with Manfred in the same format, and I started doing a lot more solos and solo tours. It's amazing to have been with the same label all these years, and uh, you know, that's a rarity. ECM is a little more than only improvised music. Uh, it became also a very uh, good classical label also, as well. And uh, so anyway, it's, uh, I was lucky to meet Manfred. I assembled some music I wanted to record and was presenting it slowly in concerts and solo concerts. So I'm gradually realizing I'm, what I'm exposing is music I'd listened to. And of course it, it evolved into my own compositions and uh, just kind of a small uh, taste of uh, the music that had been a part of me and gradually evolved along with the, the musicians that I played with and met in New York especially. This recording is really a, like a thumbnail sketch of, uh, of my entire life, you know, my musical life. And um, the, then the tune 
It is called At First Light. This tune is almost a classical piece. It's, it's a very charming piece. And uh, I thought it had something, I knew it had to, the title had to be something of, uh, it, because it sounded very like a, a, like a dawn or early morning or something. Also quite private. So I like to, to play the instrument until I maybe, maybe a stumble, we say, like come across an idea. What I realize is an idea that I could telescope into a complete story. I kind of liked it at first light because it uh, sounds like the beginning of an idea and, uh, and uh, kind of an awakening. Plus it's got a, got a slight Elizabethan flavor to it, which is really a deep influence on having studied and played uh, Renaissance lute music transcriptions. That's a little <laughs> explanation of what goes on in my brain anyway. Mm -hmm. 